Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the 4th Ward of 133. And the 4th Ward is basically uh, this high guard up here. Um, and it's great because from this guard here you can attack left, you can attack right, you know, you can attack low, you know, you can come over to the side over here. So you, you have a lot of options from this guard over here. Um, and if you look at a lot of the medieval artwork, um, where you see knights in mail, um, they're quite often using this high guard like this. Uh, they usually have a bigger shield than this, they're not using a, bu they're not using a buckler, uh, but they're fighting from this high guard like this. Uh, they're in mail, uh, but um, one of the things that you'll notice is they typically don't have a light sword like this. Okay, this is a, um, you know, like a type, um, uh, type 14 type sword, and this is, because this sword's so light, I like to fight this from either the uh, second or the third ward, because basically, because the sword's so light, you know, I can make really fast, you know, fast cuts, okay? And this is a blunt sword, you know, and just because it's it's so light, you know, I can accelerate it. You can see how, you know, it's fighting into the wood pretty quickly. And, and even from this third ward here, I talked about the third ward last time, I don't fight the third ward back there. I bring it forward a little bit like this because of, um, you, know, I, you know, the angles are the same and I get some more defense. So even from that position there, you know, you know I, can, I can attack, you know, uh, pretty quickly. So why on earth would I want to start from back here? My sword is traveling such a longer distance that it's easier for my opponent to see the angle that I'm coming through um, and to block it. Uh, and the answer to that is because I'm using a heavier sword, um, you know, but I need to start from back there. So let me put this down. And I'm going to pull out a Type X sword, okay? Um, this sword was extremely popular from the 10th century up to the 13th century and, and thereafter. Uh, this is the type of sword that, you know, the, that, that was that's often seen being used by medieval knights in mail. Uh, if you look at the Bayou Tapestry, uh, you'll see a lot of images of swords like this. Uh, you'll see knights on horseback attacking other knights, um, you know, who are in mail and, and they're actually, you know, they're hitting the mail percussively. Um, what, you know, and from horseback, basically, you're using the momentum of the horse, you know, to strike, you know, to strike the head. Because the sword is long, you know, if I have an opponent to the other side, I can also attack the other side as I'm going by. Um, I can attack people on the ground as I'm going by. So, so this this sword was was very popular with knights because knights preferred to fight from horseback. Okay, they they really didn't want to be on the ground if they if they didn't need to be on the ground. And and there were instances where they needed to be on the ground, such as you know if they were entering a castle or a monastery or whatever. But in in war they preferred to be on horseback, and you know. Basically, they would have used the sword that was the most versatile to them from horseback. Um, so in most cases, they used a sword like this, and when they were on the ground, they made this sword work for them. So with a heavier sword like this, I really don't want to start this from, let's say, the, 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 uh, the second one, because I mean, even though I've got some strength and I can, I, can, I, can, I can make this work, or even from the second guard, uh, from the third guard rather, I can, I can make this work. It takes a lot of effort for me. Um, it, you know, it's a lot easier for me to hold this in a high ward like this, uh, and, and basically, you know, uh, either let, let gravity do the work for me, you know, or get my hips into the blows. Okay, so I want to, I want to start my blows from back here, you know, and initiate my blows. And if you, if you look at the, a lot of the medieval artwork, you'll see that this is an extremely popular guard with anybody that's in mail. Okay. Uh, so, so, so that's the place for this fourth ward, um, and and you know normally when I when I'm fighting, um, you know I'm doing more tournament style fighting. I am using a lighter sword like the other one I had over there, and I'm, I am fighting either um, you know either from the second ward or the or the third ward, um, you know because I'm not uh, actually fighting from horseback or I'm not actually trying to break people's bones through mail. I'm not using a sword like this. So for that reason, I typically don't fight from this fourth ward, but um, we should all be aware that this was probably the most popular ward 
uh, with with me with medieval knights from the 10th century up until let's say the 13th into the 14th century um, you know as per the artwork that's out there you know like I said uh, there's a Bayo, Bayo tapestry there's a whole other a whole bunch of other artwork out there for you guys to check out uh, and, you, and you'll see you'll see people fighting from this fourth ward up here um, so um, you know, and, and the other interesting thing is that you know I um, before I made this video I did a search uh, I did a search on the internet trying to find other videos talking about the 4th Ward of, uh, of, of 133 and I, and I couldn't find anything on the 4th Ward. I found one video on the 3rd Ward, okay, so, you know, as we progress into these wards, um, you know, there's, there's less and less stuff out there. There's, there's a lot of stuff on the 1st Ward, um, you know, because, you know, that's the underarm ward, you know, that, that, that tends to be very popular, but, you know, we have a lot of information on that. Uh, as far as I know right now, this is this video that I'm making is really the only um, video that talks about fighting from this fourth ward, which is high up here. Uh, and again, we're using basically gravity, um, you know, to make our cuts. You know, we're using our hip to make these cuts because we you know, we're using rotational cuts because we have a, you know a, a, a more blade heavy sword. I mean, th this sword is not necessarily that much heavier than the other one. I think it might be like a, maybe a, you know maybe that's two and a half pounds. This is three pounds. So it's a half, it's a half pound heavier, but more than anything, it's 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 got more you know the, you know because the blades are parallel, there's more weight towards the end, um, and this sword hits a lot harder. I mean, if, if put this to the side. You know, if I if I just hold this sword up like this, you know, and I just you know let gravity, you know, you know just let just let, let gravity fall. This this sword has has weight behind it, and weight matters. You know, mass matters, and that's why knights prefer this type of a sword. So, uh, there are my thoughts on the 4th Ward of uh, 133. If you guys have any, uh, you know, any comments, uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any other ideas, by all means make a video, uh, you know, your own video of, of different ideas and you can link it uh, in my comment section. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a member, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.